Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we'll be digging deep into the qualities that made Ghost One one of the greatest ever television gangsters. We'll be breaking down a few of the 48 laws by Robert Greene and some other methods Ghost uses to masterfully perfect the drug and business game throughout the series. We see plenty of changes to the character of Ghost throughout the series and he uses many of these laws to become the legendary success he is. Until his death, of course, if he's actually dead. We'll tap into that for a future video. So before we begin, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe, and bell notification to immediately receive these videos. Ghost lesson number one, money over everything. Ghost from his early gangster days was always about making some hard cold cash. This was later reinforced in his life following his abandonment from his high school honey, Angela. This drove Ghost to pursue his money-making career and put his paper above everything. This was demonstrated not only through his street ventures, but also his legitimate hustles. Ghost's side hustles included his club Truth and his laundromats. Pleasures in this game, such as sex, drugs, and women, all ranked below making money. On the contrary, Ghost was also a family man. He cared deeply for his children, but maybe not so much about his wife, Tasha. A romantic involvement with his side piece Angela, also known as his high school sweetheart, swayed his savage gangster mindset to ultimately endeavor an exit from the street game to live a happy life on the beach in Miami. Ghost lesson number two, despise the free lunch. Use money and generosity strategically to achieve your goals. Remember that everything has a price and don't accept free gifts. But use the desire for a free lunch to deceive others. Use gifts to build a reputation of generosity, which creates an aura or power, and also to obligate people to you. We observed Ghost use this law on multiple occasions. When offered opportunities from his old friend Simon Stern, Ghost would always deny understanding that the free lunch robs a man of his free will and makes him vulnerable to it, to the supplier of the perceived goodwill. Ghost is seen fighting for his freedom and independence on multiple occasions. The best example of this is when Simon Stern offers Ghost an employment opportunity to work under him, managing his clubs. Ghost point blank refused this offer, as Ghost intended on creating a partnership as opposed to being his employee. Ghost accepting Stern's offer would give Stern full control of his actions. This would go against the law whereby if Ghost acted for Stern's request, he would be his bitch. Ghost lesson number three, law 32, play to people's fantasies. I'm a salesman, I sell people a fantasy. These famous words weren't just merely romantic banner between Ghost and his long lost love, Angela, but a weapon in his arsenal that proved useful time and time again. He implemented it to much success in his club business, fostering an environment that removed people from the stresses of real life. He enforced it in the underworld, creating an omnipresent aura. Through his impeccable ambition and most ironically, he fulfilled it with the woman he loved most, the one who he relayed the quote upon to begin with. Ghost lesson number four, make your actions seem effortless. Whether reigning over his legitimate businesses, straight, business, or personal business, one thing is clear about Ghost's several exploits. He made this look really easy. Ghost has been extorted, downsized, kicked out, incarcerated, threatened with death, and all other problems, but he remained composed through it all. Even when the worst tragedy a parent could bear confronted his psyche, he sustained as functional as any sane person could. Ghosts made a habit of flying in circumstances that lesser men couldn't even crawl through, and he did it with ease. It's one of the major reasons he's just beloved and missed. The way he is, he never folded despite how filthy the laundry was, so to speak, adding to his extraordinary legend. Ghost lesson number five, and what I think is one of the most important lessons for Ghost is, keep your hands clean. If that's one thing that Ghost thrived in, it was getting other people to do his dirty work. Whether legitimate business, street business, or personal, Ghost often used a substitution to carry out his deeds. A great example of this was the Diego Jimenez murder. And let's not forget the innumerable missions he sent Tasha on to save his face, and in some cases, save lives. Ghosts often use this tactic to avoid scrutiny and hide in plain sight, though some plans did work better than others. This was heavily carried out during the time that Ghost was working with Councilman Tate, Nevertheless, the multiple wins and pawning others far outweighed his losses, and that's something we must always keep in mind when recapping his legacy.